Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. Today we are drawing, um, let's see if I can get these names right, Tsukimi and Kuranosuke from uh, Princess Jellyfish. And I, don't, I mentioned this in another video before that I, um, I was for some reason getting back into Princess Jellyfish. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute and I haven't seen the anime in so long, but it was like the first anime that I was super duper into for like two years because like I had like a I had like a year hiatus period um where I wasn't really watching a whole lot of anime but then I saw Princess Jellyfish and I was like hey I like this so um that was nice and it was a cute anime I actually got my boyfriend to watch it and I don't know if he watched the full thing but it was cute and I decided to draw it because I like these two characters a lot I haven't seen the anime in a really long time, but I remember the premise of it vaguely, and I thought that it was very nice. Um, so I don't have a lot to talk about with this, just because I don't remember it too much, but I'm going to watch, I'm probably going to watch another one tonight, if not since 8. Um, I have a few other speed paints planned, I think next week, uh, give me a second. I started this, like, planner thing, because, like, I thought it'd be good for me to start a planner so I can actually keep track of what I need to do and stuff I need to get done. So next week's is uh, my is a Psychopath speed paint, and also soon there will be a release of a collaboration between me and Turquoise T. That will be fun. You didn't hear it from me. And then a week after that, um, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't tell you guys all my plans, but like, yeah, that's that's what I have planned. I got some stuff to do. Um, and I'm sorry I've uploaded so late. I'd really like to thank Turquoise T for kind of getting on top of me for that because she's been sort of keeping me on track because if not for her, I probably wouldn't have even done this bead paint at all. So I'm glad she's been there so that I can actually get some work done. Um, and I also, okay, so I am wanting to uh, start, like I told you guys this before, I think in a vlog, I wanted to start making stories out of the dreams that I have, and so I want to release a mini comic called End. It's just going to be a one shot. I'm not actually going to put any f like s super effort into developing the characters like I have with uh, my current comic, because I just want to sort of get a feel for uh, comics and stuff. And um, I, I. <laughs> I feel like I sort of need to get used to making comics before I actually make a full-fledged comic. And they always tell you that. Comic book artists always tell you that you need to um, probably start small before you go big. And so I'm going to try that because I feel like that would just, uh, that would that would sort of help me in comic book making before I actually decide to make a large comic, something that I've had in production for three years. And by in production, I mean something like, uh... I've been planning it for three years. I don't actually have a comic page done, but I've got the characters developed. I got there every single little thing. And I know it's a, it's a pit that you can fall into where you just develop a bunch of ideas for your story and then you don't actually put them into place because it's like, uh, y you, you feel like there's so much planning you need to do and you don't actually do it and then it's just a problem and you don't actually get anything done. So I want to not do that with this comic. And while I do that with this comic, I can sort of keep my other thing in development because I still do think that there's a lot that needs to happen before I actually do it. There's a lot more development and character planning that needs to happen because there's are, there are a lot of characters that I don't really have plans for because they were secondary characters at first and I wanted to make them first characters. Um, there's also things with storyline that I have to work out because that comic has really changed. It, it's really, really changed um, since when I began it. Like, let's see, I think my uh, the main character na name her name was Yura. It wasn't Kalia, which I way prefer now. It was Yura, and I think the and I think um, the secondary main character uh, Kaija. Her name was Kairi, because this actually my that that story actually started off as like a, it started off as um, a role play that me and my friend did, and so it kind of developed into this and. So, well, not this. This is uh, this is Princess Jellyfish, but it developed into that, and so I uh, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more planning into that and see where that goes. 
Now I actually really like the way I did these colors in here because I didn't darken them, I did like different colors. Like uh, for green I used blue and for pink I used purple, especially in the hair. For white I don't remember what I used, I think it was just like a really, really light purple. You guys can probably tell that though, like just looking at it. But um, I, I'm, I'm trying to get better at colors, I've sort of been practicing my colors. Not a lot, um, like, like I wanted to practice a lot more, but I haven't really been keeping track of that either. So these are things that I just kind of need to get on top of is like color theory and stuff. But I, there was, um, there's an assignment that I had to do for one of my classes. Uh, it's using mixed media, and so I think I'm really going to focus on using different colors and probably try out watercolors because I, I don't like watercolors, but I know a lot of people do, so I'm thinking that there's just a lot of things that, that I'm doing wrong with watercolors. But for the most part, I just don't even like painting at all, and I don't think that's a good thing because I feel like I should get used to painting. I feel like painting is kind of an important medium that you should learn, just so you can control your hand and brush control and all that. Uh, so I'm going to probably practice that a lot more. But hopefully the colors in this weren't too bad. I actually kind of uh, liked the colors that I used. Not The eyes were weirding me out. I'm not super proud of this drawing, but, you know, I... Uh, I was sort of happy with the colors, and that was good enough for me. Hey, got a message. All right, so that's the end of the drawing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see me draw something, leave it down in the comment section below. Bye, guys.